Okie dokie. This is Ryan from BetterTattooing.com. Today, tattoo artists, we're going to be talking about, well, I'm going to be begging you to please mix your pigment. That's over. Please mix your pigment. So I, I get asked a lot, I'd be like, Ryan, why are my colors not doing well? Like, should I change my brands of ink or should I be doing something different? Yeah, probably you just haven't mixed your stuff up well. It's like rule number one to pigment, it's got to be well mixed for it to carry over well in a tattooing, right? What happens is you have a bottle of ink and let's just draw this like little fat stubby bottle. What happens is it sits for a little while on your shelf and all the pigment ends up clumped together at the bottom, right? So you got to mix it, otherwise all you're doing is taking tinted water, which is basically like a wash, right, and trying to do a tattoo with it, which is crazy. So don't make fun of my drawing either, you can just fuck off, how's that? Um, <laughs> I'm sick and I'm doing my best, anyways, it looks like an Easter egg with a bad beard, that's fine. It's, it's good enough to explain the point I'm trying to get across anyway. So, pigment will sell at the bottom, and you go to dispense this out of this and tuning cap, right? And what ends up happening is you have no pigment in there. It's just carrier fluid, right? So when you go to actually do your tattoo, you're going to have to go over it so many times to try and get that saturation that's there that it's just going to rip up the skin by the time you actually have enough pigment actually implanted into it so it will show up well in the tattoo. So just make sure pigment. It's not hard to do. On average, before any tattoo, any tattoo. This is even if like you did one, you know, an hour ago. Mix your pigment for two minutes. All right. You can either shake it, shake it, baby, or you need one of those little like my, my wife got me one of those. Uh, it's like a nail polish mixer, almost just like pressed on the top and it spins it. And that works great too. Do it for two minutes. I'm just gonna make sure everything is evenly distributed inside of it, and then. After that, you can go ahead and dispense it into your ink cap. And then you'll have a nice dispersion of pigment that's actually like mixed the way it's supposed to be. What happens is if you don't keep mixing it every time, as the bottle keeps getting lower and lower, and you've only been using the dispersion fluid as opposed to actually any pigment, as it's going to become too pigment rich and it's not going to carry well into the skin, which is just going to ruin the actual tattoo you're trying to do as well. Or. <clears throat> It's just gonna, if you don't mix it well, that stuff will end up cementing at the bottom. We've had that happen as well, where you just have like a solid cake mass of pigment that sits at the bottom because you haven't mixed it in like, you know, a month and a half or something like that. It's, it's really hard to break that stuff up. Even if you do break it up, you'll have these big chunks of agglomerated pigment that aren't going to break it very easily. So, what do you do if the pigment that you have has not expired and it gets that clumping at the bottom? Pretty simple. More often than not, if you clump, dot, 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 go buy an ultrasonic. They're not very expensive. Don't use the one in the back clean room, you know, that you, that you use for processing your tubes or other equipment. That's disgusting. Don't just, don't do that. Get a new one. Get one that's nice, fresh, and is only going to be used for your tattoo pigments, right? What you're going to do is... Put your ink inside of it and turn that thing on let it run for up to or including any more than one hour. The ultrasonic stuff inside of there will help break up that pigment that's all packed together, making it so you can mix it up again. Remember, only do this if your like pigment hasn't expired. But you can watch our video on, you know, does pigment expire? <clears throat> It'll probably make a little bit more sense, but yeah, pigment does expire. Trying to reutilize it just because it's been clumpy and everything inside of it. Don't just add more like rubbing alcohol to it and think it's going to break it up now. Grab an ultrasonic, put it in there, that'll get rid of your clump. Um, otherwise, you don't want the clump, just mix your pigment. It takes just a second to do it. Two minutes a day, right? If you want to do it at the end of the day, make sure everything is given a good shake. You'd be good to go. I think that's it. I don't need to erase anymore. Anyways, please mix your pigment. It's going to make your tattoos look better. <laughs> Rock and roll. Anyways, it's Ryan from BetterTattooing.com signing off. Bitches!